Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about the CompTIA Linux Plus certification. Um, as you can see, I have my certification, so I'm certified. I've been having it for a little minute and I have a, a lot of other certifications too, but this video today is going to be specifically about the Linux Plus XK0-005 exam. Okay. Now let's jump right into it. The four domains that you will be tested on on this exam will be the system management and that will be 32%. The second domain will be security, which will be 21%. Then scripting containers and automation, which is 19%. And troubleshooting, which is 28%. This actually was my first exam that I took first first exam like fresh off the street don't know nothing about uh, it i got into college my first ever class in college was a linux class and my first ever exam was a linux exam uh, my first ever certification was a linux certification i mean so it was rough for me it was tough right so um of course if you have more egg more experiences should be a lot more smoother but it was a lot of studying because like i said i don't know anything about computers linux command line commands nothing nothing so this is just fresh off trying to get into the it world and I, I, I'm in school and they decide that one of my first classes that they want me to have is Linux. <laughs> so uh, so I, instead of losing the knowledge that I got from my college course, I try to transfer it into the CompTIA Linux Plus exam. So instead of just stopping there, I was like, OK, let me go straight into this uh, certification since I'm already I already have the, the knowledge in a sense. OK. So just a quick little backstory on this uh, certification. I highly recommend you download your objectives if you're preparing for this exam. You wanna make sure you know what's on the exam. So download the objectives so you could know what you're studying, all right? Now you get a maximum of 90 questions, right? Multiple choice, performance-based, and multiple choice questions, okay? Um, like I've said in all my videos, and I'm going to keep saying it, for me, I flag the, the um, PBQs and I move on to the multiple choice questions. For this exam, though, I did not do that. For this exam, I didn't do it because, like I said, this was my first, first time doing a CompTIA exam. I didn't know nothing about what PBQs are, how it's going to be, how it's going to feel. I was just winging it. So... I didn't do it. I learned along the way and flagging those PBQs, doing the multiple choice questions and then coming back to the PBQs is probably one of the best things that you could do. OK, so let's move on. You have about 90 minutes. Um, well, you do have 90 minutes to complete the test. Um, you need to use every second of that 90 minutes. Don't complete the exam in 20 minutes. Yeah, let me turn it in. You know, unless you're just a beast at at Linux and you just know everything, then that's on you. But I would say make sure you you use every second wisely, right? Um, experience needed. Uh, 12 months of hands-on experience working with Linux servers, Network Plus, A Plus, Server Plus, stuff like that, right? Did I have any of these things when I take this, took this exam or got prepared for the exam? Nope. Like I told you, this was like, this was my first, first certification, first ever CompTIA certification I got. So first day in class, I have a Linux class. Don't know what the hell Linux is, <laughs> but, but I learned. And then I move. I was like, okay, this was a lot of information. I'm not trying to lose this information. Let me see if I could put it into something else. And I remember my professor and, and after doing research as well, um, people talking a lot about certifications and how it might even be better than college, which is for a whole nother video. So I'll, I'll let you guys know what I really, really, really think. 
but yeah so i went straight into doing the linux the comptia linux plus to get the certification so yeah um so i'm not saying that you shouldn't get all these other things and experience requirements i'm not saying that i'm i, I think if you have these experience and requirements, it should be much easier for you. But can you pass the Linux Plus with no experience? Yes, you can. As long as you study and you have the right study material and resources, you can pass it. Um, the grade to pass 720 out of 900, which is basically an 80%. It's not too, too bad of a grade. It's actually doable because um, I did it right <laughs> and many many others have so it's very doable 80 percent is is not too bad right um and the resources i used were my college linux course like i told you i had the i had um linux for as one of my first ever courses and um i took that information and i learned that information and i try to combine it with other resources like it pro tv aci learning so i use it pro tv a lot for this exam i used this a lot i didn't know anything about professor messer or jason dion or anything i don't even know if professor messer has a linux plus video if i be honest but i know that the it pro tv was a very good resource for me for this because we i had videos I had practice exams. I had hands-on labs. So I had all three of these different resources in that one, on that one platform that helped me get there. So I used, like I said, my college course um, learning material. I used IT Pro TV, ACI learning, video labs, and practice tests. And then this other, this guy, uh, he probably not the most known as Professor Messer and Jason Dion and stuff like that. But I used this guy on YouTube called Sean Powers. You could look him up. He had a good breakdown of the exam and objectives. And I like how he was going over some of this stuff. So I did that as well, because sometimes you'll be learning something, but hearing it from someone else or seeing it on another resource or reading it in another book will help you to understand it more or a little bit better, right? So I used uh, Sean Powers, uh, that's his name. He's on YouTube, videos are free. You could check that out. Hopefully these tips help you guys to pass the exam. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos, man. I appreciate you guys locking in with me. To the new people on the channel, you know, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications and comment and do all that good stuff. And I'll be having more and more and more videos coming out. I appreciate you guys and see you guys in the next one.